Good morning. Good morning. How are you both feeling? Great. Yeah, really good. Really good. <laughs> really now, good thing. You might remember Laura was on with us way, way back when we first went on air back in 2015. What's been happening, Laura, since that time? Um, just usual gigging lots, writing, um, just trying to get our music out there, really. I'm just enjoying it. And how long have you both been together as, as a duo? Um, about six years. Five or six years. Yeah, yeah, we've known each other for like... Twelve, years, about 12, 12 years. years, yeah, um, yeah, but we've been playing together for about five or six, haven't we? Yeah. And you've just literally got back from the States, haven't you? I have, yeah, yeah. Um, just come back from my honeymoon in Orlando, which is uh, absolutely amazing. But I think I'm still a bit jet lagged. I was going to say, so. where's, where's the brain at the moment? Are we well, still talking uh, mid Atlantic? Yeah, it seems to be dropping off during the day, but I uh, can't sleep on a night, so I think I'm still a little bit jet lagged, but. Oh, right. I won't drop off while we're playing today. But... <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, we're on the hooter over here. Just quiet. <laughs> Good. So, um, Sea of Wires, you say you've been together for six years. Well, how would you describe the music that you play? What kind of material? Um, it's kind of, you hate it when I say this, do you? but it's a little bit country, a yeah. little bit. Well, I don't um, hate it as much now, I think I've got used to yeah. it. Yeah, but... <laughs> it's just like acoustic rock you know it's difficult to describe really because yeah. we've got quite a lot of different songs haven't we yeah. they're all they're all sort of conform to the same yeah thing. we've got a lot of different influences and you know so so just remind us again who yours were laura who were the um, people that would be safely so i like, like a lot of old music like especially at the moment like like i like a lot of 50s rock and roll like buddy holly and elvis and stuff like that then i love um, my 90s grunge so nirvana alice in chains a really interesting so, combination. I just really love, yeah. yeah, I love everything. I love everything. I'm not a music snob. So we could could you have a grunge version of an, a classic Elvis track then? Here? Yes, could maybe. Do, yeah. Ooh, we could try interesting. it. Interesting. Interesting mix. How about <laughs> yourself, Neil? Who are the people you were listening to? It's similar. Right? I, I like so much, uh, like so much stuff, I like classic rock. So like the Who and Led Zeppelin and Jimi Hendrix people like that. But then I also like grunge and I like metal as well. Yeah. Not that any of that's really shown through our music, but uh, I like everything. I'll, I'll give everything again. I'm not like a music snob or anything. I'll give any, anything a go, really. Massively uh, into Justin Bieber at the moment. Massively into Justin Bieber. Yeah. I love him. You would be I really, I really, don't, <laughs> really don't like just me. My wife does, but uh, no. Not, not me. And is this a case where you go to the... Have you adopted the part now of being a married man that you have a potting shed or something similar to a stage? <laughs> not quite. I could do it on that. I could do a little music shed. That would be good. Yeah. That was incredibly diplomatic, the way you said that, you know? <laughs> really? So at the moment, you've, you've, been, you've been playing, obviously, for six years. Um, Venues-wise, what do you, what, what's your favourite type of venue that you play? Um, well, we're playing at the Sesh this Tuesday, and we've played there a few times, and that's, like, Sesh always is... one of my favourite... The session's always a good gig. There's um, always like a lot of people there, really good sound, good atmosphere. Yeah, oh, they've always um, got a good lineup as well, which yeah. is, is good. So, but I don't, we play again. We play so many different types of places, don't we? Yeah. Like we love the open mic. Nice. Yeah. Tuesday, that's always fun. Yeah, but then we love the playing the bigger gigs as well. Yeah. Don't we? So it's, it's difficult. Yeah. Each of them have their own particular like attraction don't they really? yeah. a nice intimate gig is you get you're very close to the audience yeah yeah, yeah that's right whereas with it normally you find with the, the larger the audience the further away you are yeah, yeah. the open mic nights are good because i don't know they're just they're easy going out they yeah just interact always a good with laugh people and, yeah but bigger gigs are good like you get better sound and stuff yeah bigger gigs. so now that we just will play anywhere won't we yeah. we love it and so, well, we'll say an intimate gig. I'm very, very fortunate this morning they're going to play for us now. Um, to an audience of three of us in here this morning. Um, what are you going to play for us? Uh, we're going to play a fairly new song called Evil. You're listening to The Sea of Wires on Beverly FM 107.8. You ready? Yeah.
rules I don't drop you to the bone Wires on Beverly FM, the sound of East Yorkshire. Is that a piece of your own? I'll take it that's one of your own songs, Sam. Yes. Yeah. Who does the writing? Who's um, it? both of us three. I, well, I usually come up with like, um, the Laura, sort of yeah, you've sort of skeleton. Come up. Yeah, you <laughs> sort of write, you sort of write it, you briefly write it, don't you? Yeah, and, and then, then we get together gets, and work on it together. Yeah, structure it together, yeah. really. Put a few, you know, extra things in there. Really. Yeah. So, yeah. I take it, I mean, this is one song that you've got, There's a, there must be a repetition. Have you got, at the moment, an EP or anything like that? Out of, uh, we've, we've done recording in the past, and um, so we have got some songs on SoundCloud um, that are a bit old. Um, it's a bit old now, but we're, we're still... We're in, in the process of getting some brand new songs recorded. Yeah, it's, um, like, it's been a bit of a long journey, haven't it, yeah, with these songs? Really, we're yeah. still talking about new songs, but we've been playing them for about a year and a half. We so just want to make sure, we just want to get them right. We, yeah. We want to make sure that they're really good otherwise. Do you find do you find that you do a song, you think, oh I really like that, but you do it, then you take it out on the road, you take you kick it and you think, do you know what? We could tweak this a little bit and just do something with it and then change yeah. anything. Oh, now that sounds good, and then you do does it constantly grow? Yeah, yeah I suppose so. It does, it does, at the beginning, do doesn't it? And then Yeah, they do change, don't they? Yeah. And like we've introduced we, we try different things that we so we brought like a guitarist in, uh, Jez Clifton, for a few songs. For a few songs, and um, it, it sort of it, you end up changing them a little bit, yeah. there, so adding to them and stuff. I don't know. They do. They're always growing out. They're always yeah. growing and changing. Yeah. So, so. Now, looking at where you're going to, what you know, where you are at the moment. Tonight, you've got a big gig, and you're supporting something that's be quite famous. Yeah. Yeah. In America, yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, Bronwyn Brent. Yeah. Um, we supported her last year. Um, she's absolutely amazing. She's amazing. Yeah, and, really, um, really good. Yeah, I just sort of stayed in contact with her a little bit over Facebook, and she wanted to have us have us back tonight. So. Yeah. How does I'm that Really feel? happy. How did that feel when you got the email saying we're coming back? Oh, yes. And by the way, we want you to support uh, us. Real good. It's just it's awesome to have somebody. She is so good. good as well, yeah. Like, she's she's well. Think that uh, we're good enough to support her. Yeah. It's like, yeah. And I know we're really really chuffed, aren't we? Yeah. So. But yeah, so that's tonight. At, um, I think it's at the Saint it's Mary's, at, isn't it? Saint Mary's Parish Hall. There are still a few tickets left. Um, it's ten pound a ticket, um, and it's bring your own drink. Um, he sells along the Saint Mary's. Parish Hall, Parish Hall yeah. in Beverly. Uh, tickets are ten pounds for that. You also mentioned that um, you do the sesh as well. Now that's at the Polar Bear in Hull, isn't it? It is, yeah. It is, yeah. 
not been there for a while, have we? We've not played like there last, for a while. It was last, really early last year that we played. Yeah, it's difficult to get in, to be honest, because there's that many amazing acts in Hull at the minute. You know, it's booked up every week. So, yeah, we've managed to get in for next week. Yeah. And uh, we've applied to play Hum Street Session again, which uh, we play most years. Well, we've yeah. played every year it's been on, so... Fingers crossed, yeah. It's <laughs> Humber Street Session, it's, it's something special, that, isn't it? Because oh, yeah. you've got, it's, I bet for you guys, it's a bit like doing a mini Glastonbury, because everybody who knows anybody is there. Yeah. yeah. So And you've kind of seen each other in different gigs around the area, but not all together. And just a chance for you guys to get together and enjoy yourselves. Yeah, yeah it's, it's fantastic. Good yeah, like I said, there's so much like talent in Hull, particularly at the minute. It's just good to bring all those bands and yeah. acts together to play one thing, so... Yeah, it's good. And it leads well into the City of Culture coming up, obviously, in 2017. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Definitely. So, yeah, no, it's uh, definitely something to celebrate. And, I mean, the other thing is, you say it's all, but, I mean, I'm still blown away with the amount of talent there is here in Beverly itself. Yeah, there is. There's loads of talent It's in really grown, I think, these last couple of years, yeah. hasn't it? Because when, when we started playing, there wasn't really much going on. There didn't seem to be much going on around Beverly. We were always in Hull, weren't we? But now, yeah, you, you get to the sun in on a Tuesday, and just like a wealth of talent there. Yeah, there's so, so many good people. Um, and like with the likes of like Jack Common and stuff coming on, like he's absolutely amazing, isn't he? Yeah. He's, he's definitely going to go far. And there's, yeah, there's lots of really good acts in Beverly at the minute, so yeah. Will you play something else for us, please? Yeah. Yeah, of course. What should we play? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what you want to play? Um, play something that you want to play. I just tap along. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's Beverly Fair, the sound of East Yorkshire with a sea of wires. Baby, please? Yeah. yeah. Sound of Sea of Wise on Beverly FM, the sound of East 